guys welcome back to my channel it's it's Clarky, and today we're going to talk about why i deleted my instagram so if you're interested in this video um leave a like and a comment down below let's chit chat and let's get right into it we activated my instagram in august early august at that a number of reasons and i'm sure other people have experienced similar things one being feeling like left out of things <laughs> you have a lot of you know associates or people that you know um, in real life and um, maybe you thought that you were friends with them but then you see them you know doing things without you that feeling excluded and things like that um, that was something that I had experienced on social media and it was kind of hurtful but then at the end of the day you have to recognize that you know maybe you weren't really friends with them maybe you were just acquaintances or associates and you just have to be okay with that second reason was feeling like um, you're in search of external validation. So posting certain content because you think that, you know, people will support you or they'll like your picture or think you're, you know, this type of person um, and you're not really living, you know? Like if you had to sit there and think whether or not you should post something that you're really interested in because no one's gonna like it, that's when I feel like social media has gone too far. And that's how it was for me. Like I personally like to read, I like nature, I like art, but a lot of my social media was not that. I did have pieces of things that I was interested in, um, such as travel, but I don't travel all the time. And so I felt like, you know, my social media and the, the people that were on my social media didn't really align with what I, um, believe in my interest um, the third thing is just kind of like feel like you're performing <laughs> like you build this persona online like whether it's the traveler friend or the mysterious you know whatever um, that you have to constantly live up to that and that kind of goes into the thing where like you have like a niche market and you can the day Instagram used to be just your followers that you knew like from real life like your friends nothing now they have the explore page and things where you can see random people's profile and so I feel like a lot of people have transitioned from individual accounts to trying to be um, an influencer or content creator in some way to gain followers or friends or whoever um and in in the process you kind of lose yourself a little bit you may also notice that like you're constantly shopping like over consumerism and instagram almost go hand in hand like you go on a trip you immediately have to go shopping you spend like three four five hundred dollars to prepare yourself for a trip to take pictures on this trip and a lot of times the pictures are heavily edited or photoshopped because the environment doesn't look like how it looked on social media, but you want your followers to think that it looked like that. Now, granted, there are some places that look like how you see it on social media, but there are a lot of places that are not. Well, that was always a thing, like in the back of my mind, like when I was traveling, it's like, oh, I need to have, you know, like nice outfits so I can take pictures. And now when I travel, I'm just like, you know if there was outfit i liked from like two trips ago i'm gonna wear it again because the people at this resort are they don't know <laughs> they don't know the difference and so i feel like that saved a lot of money and a lot of time a lot of mental like effort you can just show up you can still look good you can still get your nails done you can still you know do whatever you want to do but just the pressure of having to find and take a picture and, and edit a picture and all that stuff is just gone now another reason relationships um you notice that some people they post their relationships all the time and then other people are very secretive um when it comes to relationships and i feel like that causes a lot of problems um in the long run and just like behaviors associated with overconsumption of social media um in relationships creating like scenarios where micro micro treat my oh my gosh micro cheating um and by micro cheating, I mean liking pictures that are like promiscuous or um, commenting on, you know, somebody's pictures or post or whatever, um, something that you wouldn't want your partner to see or um, you wouldn't want your partner to do to you. Those type of instances, I feel like it was just kind of 
too much and then people posting things that can be deemed disrespectful like when you're like in a relationship or talking to somebody um things like that so just removing all of that just removes a lot of stress when you know trying to um, meet people um and kind of along those lines so instagram felt kind of like a dating app like a big grandiose dating app um where like people are posting pictures for people to interact with them um and to find partners or to find whoever you know the last thing i kind of want to touch on is the fact that with instagram in particular i found myself like mindlessly scrolling like i would every time i had my phone i would just constantly just check instagram just scroll on instagram and kind of just see like you know what people are up to um, and then it led to like constantly comparing my life with theirs, like people are buying homes and you, you feel like you need to buy a house too, or, you know, people are going to this program and this school and doing that and doing this. And you're like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm getting left behind. I need to, you know, step my game up. In actuality, you know, everybody's kind of experiencing the same thing. And I feel like that's leading to like a rush in um, life progressions. I mean, unnecessary like stress and anxiety because oftentimes what you see is not real. I mean, people fake stuff all the time. Just like a couple things to keep in mind um, and some reasons why I decided to leave Instagram. If you all found this video um, interesting or if you've had a similar experience or you think I left something out, um, leave it down in the comment below. Let's chit chat. I'd like to hear any of your reasoning reasonings or rationale for um leaving instagram if you have or if you decided to keep instagram um and you know how are you navigating instagram um if you've experienced some of those things in the past so if you like this video leave a comment and a like down below and i'll see you in the next video